I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and sharing with me some excellent questions. Here is another question from our subscriber on probability challenge. Now this is from GCSE test papers. The question here is, there are only green pens and blue pens in a box. There are three more blue pens than green pens in the box. Simon is going to take at random two pens from the box. The probability that Simon will take two pens of the same color is 27 over 55. Work out the number of green pens in the box. So here we have two types of pens. We need to figure out how many of these are in the box. So to begin with, we have, let us say, G green pens, right? So G are green pens. So there are three more blue pens than green pens. That means the blue pens are G plus three, right? So three more. Now we are given, Simon is going to take at random two pens from the box. The probability that Simon will take two pens of the same color. So we are looking for same color, right? So it could be either two greens or two blues, right? So same color is 2755. Work out the number of green pens in the box, correct? So now, so when we say probability for same color, Okay, when we say probability of the same color, in this case, it could be both green or both blue, right? So that is what we're looking for. So we know number of green pens are G, number of blue pens are G plus three. Total number of pens are how many? Total number of pens are G plus G plus 3, which gives us 2G plus 3. Correct? Now, when we are talking about both green or both blue, then uh, let's work out their probabilities. And or means we have to add them up, right? So probability for same color will be So when you say both green, that means first is green and second is also green, correct? When we say both blue, means first is blue and the second one is also blue, correct? That's what it means. So first is green, there are G greens, right? So that means the probability will be G divided by total. Total will be 2G plus 3. Now, so picking up green first will be this probability. Once a green pen is picked, there is one less green pen. So the probability now reduces to G minus one. The total also reduces by one. So it becomes uh, two G plus two, right? Now let's talk about blue pen. Now for the blue pen, if blue pen is picked first, in that case, there are G plus three pens. So we can say G plus three, and total is 2g plus 3, right? Now, if one pen blue has been picked, one less is there. So we have g plus 2 available. And in the total, also, one has been reduced. So we have 2g plus 2. So that becomes the probability. And what we are given here is that this probability is basically equal to 27 over 55. So that forms an equation and in this equation there is only one unknown g so which we can actually find. Perfect. Now let's see how to calculate g. So we have a common denominator which is 2g plus 3 times 2g plus 2. 
in the numerator, we can multiply and expand. So we get g square minus g from these two terms. And here we get g square. 2g plus 3g gives us 5g. And 2 times 3 gives us 6. And that should be equal to 27 over 55. Now we can simplify it slightly more combining 5 and minus g and adding 2 g's. So we get 2 g square plus 4 g plus 6. g is number of green pens divided by 2 g plus 3 times 2 g plus 2. And that gives you 27 over 55. Now one way to calculate the value of g of course is to cross multiply and then you'll have a quadratic equation to work with and get your answer. The other way is to kind of guess and check, right? Now it's a very educated guess and check. Now if I look into this fraction, we could write an equivalent fraction because 55 we have only two multiples. 5 and 11. But here in the denominator, what you notice here, the difference in the two numbers is by 1, right? So this is 2g plus 3, and this is 1 less. So we're looking for denominator to be product of two consecutive numbers, right? So, so these two are consecutive numbers. Do you see that? 2g plus 3 and 2g plus 2 are two numbers which are consecutive numbers, one after the other. 55, you cannot get as a product by two consecutive numbers. But if I multiply both by 2, then what do I get? 2 times 5 is 10, we get 110 here. And multiplying 27 by 2, I get 54. Now, I could write... 110 as 11 times 10. Do you see that? So that really means that 2g plus 3 could be 11 and 2g plus 2 will be 10. I have to check if the numerator gives me 54 or not. Right. So let's check it out. So the numerator, let's substitute the value for g equals to what? Now, let me work on this side. Right. So we have hint that 2g plus 3 is 11 or we can say 2g plus 2 is 10. So let's work with 2g plus 2 equals to 10. So that gives us 2g equals to 10 minus 2, which is 8. And g is 8 over 2, which is 4. Now if I substitute 4 here in the numerator, what do I get? Let's do it in a different ink. So we get 2 times 4 square plus 4 times 4 plus 6. Now 16 plus times 2 is 32 plus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 6. Now that gives you 54, correct? So it matches with 54 and the denominator also matches. That means what? So we have found our answer and the answer here is that the number of green pens is basically equal to 4. Correct? So now we know that if green pens are 4, then the blue pens are 7. And if you place the value 11 as the total, you can see that the probability of getting both green or both of the same color, I should say, is 27 over 55. It doesn't make sense to you, right? So that is how this question can be solved. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.